Alright guys, so I know I'm a little bit late to the party when it comes to doing the Revive Warrior Team Building Guide, but I decided to go ahead and do it anyway, just because I haven't done it yet. So, we're going to go ahead and talk about the team that you could build around or for with the leader ability from the True Radiance of the Emperor, Golden Frieza Angel. We're just going to be going over his TUR variant, by the way, because I already did the full in-depth one, but um, I might come back and revisit it later on with the full uh, team that came along with the whole banner. Anyway... Leader ability is Revive Warrior, Category, Key plus 3, HP uh, plus 130%, and Attack and Defense plus 170%. So again, really, really nice. I really like that uh, leader ability. It's mixing it up a little bit. I like how the Attack and Defense buff is just get skyrocketing, because honestly, HP, you don't need that be that freaking insane, at least at this time in the game. At that point, if it was like 170 all across the board, wouldn't need it. Uh, and Intelligence Type, Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 50%. So we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about that as well, just because there are a couple things that uh, you can utilize with that uh, intelligence key uh, buff, or that, that intelligence buff right there. Not too much, but if you're lacking characters, yes. Super attack is great death beam, causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Passive skill is wicked testimony, super types enemy allies minus 15%, and attack plus 150% and defense plus 50% at the start of the turn. So any type of super type enemies and allies that are on your team, it's going to reduce their attack by 15%. I believe when I did the first video, I, was, I thought it was just all anyone who's on your, on your side. So anyone who has a super affiliate, uh, it's not going to be too hard to build around that just because most of these revive warriors are extreme. But there are a couple of good uh, super warriors that you're going to want to take into, to keep in mind. Uh, link skills are prodigies, universe's most malevolent, revival, strongest clan in space, brutal beatdown, Tournament of Power and Fierce Battle. Now, what's cool about this is he is a good unit overall. Um, he does hit really hard, but you have other really hard hitting units. So you could either focus your team building around him, or you could focus it around uh, the actual units that actually hit really, really hard. Um, I'll talk about the hardest hitting unit in the game right now because LR Gohan has been trumped. Uh, anyway, max stats are HP of 11, 0, 20, attack of 10, 208, and defense of 66, 05. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 150%. He also has a formable super attack from this Golden Frieza, which is available from uh, some event that just came out on the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Uh, it is time... Oh, no, it's, it's that. Um, it actually Dokkan Awakens from the, um, uh, the Cocoon Frieza, and that one's available from the tor this Tournament of Power Universal Survival Arc. Uh, level that just came out in the game. Anyway, um, shout out to the wiki, by the way, so that's where I'm getting all my information from, uh, especially for this. They, they, I love their categories because there's not a lot of different category builds that you could find. So I'm basing the teams off of this revived warrior build. So there's a whole bunch over here. If you guys are looking for it, go to the site and just type in revived warrior and it will pop up. It uh, You'll see the URL. That's, that's the reason why I keep the URL in my screen recordings, just so that way you guys can visit it. So go ahead and copy down that URL and you could go there to see what the heck is actually going on and what characters you could see uh, or you could utilize. As you can see in the left-hand column, it's all super. There's not a lot of good super units. There's not a lot of super units in general, actually. So right over here, I just picked what I thought was going to be the most viable in terms of all the units you can run. So as you see, you have you could run Cell, you have two Kid Boos, two Cells, and two Bardocks. Now I chose to leave out the other two Bardocks because I didn't think that they fit really well on the team in terms of the team building. Um, they were very self-reliant and they didn't hit hard enough for me to warrant them being on this team. These two, however, are both support units. The, the Strength one just gives all allies attack plus 30%. This one gives a key plus 2 and attack plus 20%, I believe it was. Uh, attack plus 1, yeah, so that's why he's here. They're both really good for support. I'm also shout out to DokkanBattleBuilder.com uh, for a lot for you know, having this set up for us. The other one is the Angel Goku, and actually that is it. So the Bardocks and the Angel Go Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku are the only two different units that I can actually possibly tell you that I think would be good super units to run on this team. I mean, if you go and look over here, yes, you have some other good units, like I mean, good as in super good. Um, but there's really not that many that would benefit too much. A lot of these, maybe this Vegeta over here, but it's when he, his passive goes off, when HP is 80% or below, I don't really find that viable. I don't like that you can run him. He has a good attack and defense. I think it's like a 90% buff, but overall not someone who you would probably want to consider running unless you don't have anyone else. But um, I put together this team over here, not, not specifically a team team, but the primary unit you would want to consider running. Now, obviously you can't have both Kid Boos here. So you would have to make a choice of which Kid Boo that you would want to run. Um, I would say if you have Majin Vegeta and uh, Broly, those two are going to be staples on this team. 
they would link together very well. You would want to keep them together. Uh, let's go ahead and do the translate. But I know that they get, I think, two key and... Let's see. Uh, oh, no, it's actually not. So they have Legendary Power, uh, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, and Super Saiyan. So they're giving each other um, a decent buff. It's, what, 5,000 for uh, uh, LR? And 700 is a 5700 flat out boost, and then a 10% Super Saiyan boost. Not great, not horrible. Um, you're definitely going to rely at that point on the, your support. <clears throat> and unfortunately, this boot doesn't give any good support in terms of key. So you do have Korra and you do have uh, Demon King Piccolo. Both of them are really good for support units. Let's go ahead and find it. So Korra is extreme type key plus two, attack plus 30%. So it'll be giving additional two key and attack plus 30%, making him hit really, really hard. And we are going to go and find that Korra. Okay, no, I didn't have it. Okay, well, uh, where are you? <laughs> uh, the Demon King Piccolo, I know he's a really good unit as well. I believe he is extreme type plus three. Uh, we'll bring him, we'll go ahead and bring him up right now because I know he in the extreme section. And his passive skill is extreme types. Blah. Key plus three and attack plus 25%. So he's really viable as well on that team to help give key support. In terms of other linking buddies, well, if you don't use this Kid Buu, you're going to have this Kid Buu. This Kid Buu doesn't do too great of linking. Obviously, he has Super Fierce Battle. Um, he has Cruelty that with Frieza, so that gives him 25% if you want to link with Frieza. If you're looking for Cell, uh, Big Bad Boss is Super Fierce Battle. I believe that's on both of them, yeah. Um, both of these cells are actually viable on this team. And I know a lot of you will probably look at him like, oh, that, you know, some of you will look at it like, oh, that tech cell isn't as good as this cell. But you know what? I'm going to tell you this right now. This cell can actually trump this cell for damage output. Um, if you get the right setup, obviously you're going to need to have dupe system and this one will not have to have dupe system, but when, I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, when this, uh, tech cell has dupe system in him, he gets some really nice, nice buffs with that, um, passive skill increase. And you're really going to see that with the leader ability that you have with this, uh, Frieza. Because you're, he's starting out innately with a two, 170%. So what is that? 170, 100, that's 340% stat buff to his base stats. Plus if you have that dupe system in there. Man, I'm telling you right now, he's going to be hitting super freaking hard. Um, but anyway, uh, that's really what I'm going to say about him. I think that this would be a decent team for you to look into. If you don't, have, I know the LR is really difficult to come by. So, I mean, even at that point, um, yeah, well, this is pretty dis uh, difficult as well. But this is what I'm going to recommend as being a really good team for you to run. Uh, again, you can run a couple of these heroes on here if you want. Uh, one good thing that I will say about the Super Saiyan Angel Goku, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, he gives uh, only one key to uh, Broly, so if you don't want to run him with Broly, you can run him with Majin Vegeta, and they give each other not much of an attack buff. You get 10%, but you give each other three key, which is super, super useful, uh, especially with this Vegeta, because his primary um, focus when you're trying to use him, if you're going up against one enemy, is his 12 to 17 key uh, super attack, because that's when he's doing the most damage. Um, so in terms of that, you might want to consider running these two together, just because they both hit really hard. Broly's still a staple in the team. Um, I don't have the Reddit post open right now, but it's actually funny. This Broly now, uh, with this lead for with uh, the uh, Golden Frieza lead, he is now the hardest hitting unit in game based off of averages. Now that's not saying that you know LR Gohan won't out damage him in pure you know in pure damage if you have that optimal setup for him. But in terms of just average setup of what you would average get, Broly beats him I think by three hundred thousand in terms of damage. So that's insane. Now again. You know, don't take that as, oh, he he's always going to consistently hit more than LR Gohan. No, that's not what I'm saying. LR Gohan can still hit harder than him. But Broly, on average, with this leader ability, compared to having that LR Gohan on the um, hybrid Saiyan team, I believe, this Broly is going to hit harder at this point. But anyway, uh, that's just from a Reddit post that I had found. Um, I don't have it up right now, so I can't go in depth on it right now. So I just wanted to let you know, if you have this LR Broly, well, now you have one of the hardest hitting units in the game. Uh, so that's awesome. <laughs> um, I also brought this up real quick because I did not do this before. Um, I'm going to clear this out and we're going to go ahead and bring up the team building guide so we can see who he actually links the best because I actually forgot to do this. So we're going to start over with four link skills minimal. And wow, he has a lot of people. Or like, let's go up to five and see what happens. All right, so we have five linking buddies for him. Um, we're obviously going to go with the TUR variant. So it looks like, obviously, the Golden Freezes are going to be the two that link the best with him. Um, so we have this Intelligence Golden Freeza and this Agility Golden Freeza. Now, the Agility one, guys, if you remember, he is the tank. He tanks everything. So let's actually go over here to the list and see what we can find. We can find him. Okay, so uh, this, that, oh, 
Uh, so we got this Frieza. Let's see, I think this is the one that Dokken away because he doesn't really do that much damage. Um, yeah, it's attack and defense plus 60% of the start term and supreme damage. He hits off all the link skills, which is going to be cool. Um, average stats, he's an older card, so what do you expect? Attack and defense plus 60% at the start of the turn isn't great, uh, especially with supreme damage. And he only has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. But I'm not saying that he's a horrible unit. He just that it's not the, he's not part of this meta. Let me put it like that. So if you're if you don't have a lot of units and you're looking to base your team around this intelligence angel uh, Frieza, that both of these supers oh super saiyan both of these golden Frieza's are you can take into consideration for linking with him. Um, let's go ahead back in here and I look at the uh, golden Frieza. I know this one doesn't attack at all, but he has that defensive passive, so he'll at least be attack. He can serve essentially as your Janemba. So if you have like an intelligence kid boot team. And you're running Janemba, you're running Janemba not because he attacks our defense. So his passive skill is damage received minus 90% when HP is 50% or above. Again, on a team that you're running 130% uh, times 2, which is what, 260% uh, HP, especially if you have really high HP cards, getting underneath 50% is very difficult. Um, I really wish it was like, you know, 30% when you go can we do. Um, again, 130 key multiplier. I would probably recommend him over the other Frieza, just because they are older units, they're not going to hit as hard. And at least with this Frieza, you know his primary role is to not hit hard, but to tank everything. So you can go ahead and utilize him, throw him on there. Uh, let's go actually take a look and see what key links that they uh, that they share, because I did not look at that. So they have five, they share five. We're going to go ahead and have to translate this to English so we can actually see. Um, so it looks like they have attack plus 10% up. I uh, don't know what that is actually supposed to be. Uh, universe most fierce or universe most malevolent resurrection strongest group in the universe or strongest land space and super fierce battle so it looks like they're getting um was that 30 percent 40 percent attack buff and four key so he'll always be supering so take that into consideration i'm pretty sure this is the same one uh yeah this is the same exact thing so you're essentially giving him uh, 40 40 attack buff and four key so he'll always be supering and again i'm not going to say that i recommend doing this um, as your primary choice I'm saying that if you don't have all the units that I had listed off over here um, or over here for your for your mono team for your mono revived warrior team this can be something you would want to consider doing just because um, he, it will benefit him uh, let's go ahead and do one other thing I want to take a look at so we're gonna go ahead and look at just the intelligence overall just to see who would be decent characters to look into so obviously all the golden freezes really not that great um, terms of link skill uh one thing i will say though you so you do have the kid boost so you have, you have other options here now i'm not going to say that intelligence is going to be a primary uh primary for you to run on your team uh because there are better units you'd rather do the revived warrior but you technically can run intelligence because they are going to be getting those buff now again it's not going to be a primary thing you're going to want to look into but you can you can still run lr go on on this team you know, he's just not going to get the major buff. He's going to have key plus, what was key plus one, and then HP attack and defense, uh, or key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 50%. So he'll be supering a lot. He just won't have that nice attack buff. So if you have LR Gohan and you don't have a good team to run him on, um, or you want to take advantage of the Revive Warrior team and you're, you have a couple open slots, LR Gohan will fit on this team. You just need to make sure you use the right characters for it. And you have to make sure that this that the Frieza, um, well, he will always be on there because you're not going to want to run two Friezas right next to each other just because it's going to do it. Um, they're not going to have any links. But, you know, just take that into consideration because the Dialer Gun Hunt is going to have a 15% uh, attack debuff. Um, but overall, I mean, as you see over here, there's a lot of units that actually link with him if you're looking to build around the Angel of Golden Frieza. Um, uh, even with this, because there are a lot of intelligence, you can throw this Vegeta on there for uh, intelligence support because there are really, you know, let's go back again one more time over here in terms of intelligence unit. You, you, you can actually run a full intelligence team with that Golden Frieza. So, I mean, granted, you can't, you, you, you would have a choice one or the other. Actually, no, that is the, the gold. So, you have the Angel Golden Frieza can link with Golden Frieza. Then you have Kid Boo, who can link with this uh, cell, uh, if you want to throw them together, just saying. And then you have, you know, Korra for the Meta Korra for support. Um, and, I mean, I guess you could use the Demon King Piccolo, because he does technically have uh, passive that debuffs the enemy. But you could throw anyone else over here. Even Janemba would be good because he's a good defender. But anyway, guys, yeah, you have a lot of options with these teams. I don't know, you know, I know there wasn't a lot of hype for it when it first came out until we saw who was actually in the pool. Uh, one good thing I will say about this is that it allows for a lot of diversity because it's not really shafting. I mean, the stat buffs, again, are not the most amazing. 
for mono intelligence. But, you know, there are enough mono intelligence that fall under the category of resurrection where you can warrant running this Vegeta for support. Or you can throw on LR Gohan or Janemba, you know, still keep them viable uh, and, you know, run the other optimal units. Now, if there's an optimal team build that is found up on the Reddit, because I'm not, you know, I'm not primarily, I'm not really looking into this. I also just started doing my research today and it's currently Tuesday morning. This probably going to be, the video is probably going to go up tonight. Uh, just because I, I haven't put one up, uh, an informational video in a week. So, um, I'm probably going to be putting this up at some point tonight, probably around 6 p.m. Eastern Time. But uh, anyway, yeah, really good um, team building. I really enjoy what you can do with this. The diversity of these teams is becoming better. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think would be a good team to run? In terms, if you had all the cards, who would you like to run on this team? If you had every card in game. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe. Make, make sure to smash the like button if you're new here as well. Um, help me get my channel up. I just hit the 1000. I want to keep on growing. But thank you guys. Appreciate taking the time to come by. I'll catch you guys later.